Hello and welcome again. This is Lino Tadros and I'm happy to actually spend a few minutes with you, show you how to install the Sidefinity CLI locally on your machine. If you like to run things pretty fast in a command line environment, we will go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do, you want to go to GitHub. Let me bring it up to this screen in here and look for a project called uh, Sidefinity CLI. You'll end up going to github slash Sidefinity slash Sidefinity CLI, okay? I'm gonna put that link also uh, in the comments so that you can see it as well. Uh, you probably are not interested in how it was written even though it's an open source, you can take a look at the source code and everything, but most people will probably go down to it says release assets right there. If you click on that, you will notice the latest one was from 10 days ago, but by the time you see this video, probably there will be other uh, new releases. Just get the latest one. This one is 11031 and is for Sidefinity version 14.3. Alrighty, I can go ahead and download the zip file. If I want the source code to see how it was written, you are more than welcome to do that as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and download the zip file by clicking on it. And Chrome will allow it to be downloaded here in a few seconds. There are only two very simple things that you need to do to make sure that the CLI for Sidefinity is running on your machine. The first one is to unzip, of course, that zip file. It has a lot of different files in it. Find somewhere on your hard drive, any hard drive that you have, that you can unzip the whole um, um, amount of files inside of that folder. And the final part is that you need to go to your environment settings, whether you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, and you are more than welcome to just add this to your system variable. Let me repeat, it is the system variable, not the user variables, okay? Make sure it's the system variable and make sure that folder is on the path. So I can run the command line from any folder that I want. Make sense, everybody? All right, so let me go ahead and maximize this on the screen. And I already unzipped the file. Let me show you where I've put it. It is going to be on the E drive. There it is. I'm going to also maximize it and here you can see it. And we will have something called SFCLI. There you go. I call the folder SFCLI 11031. And it has a contains a significant amount of files in here, which is fine. I'm going to minimize that for right now. And like I said, don't forget to add this to your path in your system path as well. Just to make sure everything is going to work well, let's go ahead and open up a command window. Let me bring up a command window here on my screen there it is okay and just to make sure it's working i'm going to say sf from any folder and push enter and if i don't get an error if i get usage here for the options and the commands that means sf is working correctly and we're in good shape sounds good uh, if you'd like to get some help because there are only very few uh, commands like add and config and upgrade that's pretty much it but each one of them can do a lot of things so if i want to find out what are the options for add for instance you can say sf add and then dash question mark or dash help as you can see here dash h dash dash help dash question mark all of them will do the same thing so this will tell you all the different things that you can add like grid widgets module packages widgets, tests, and so on and so forth. If I do the same thing, SF space, and we'll say config, and we'll say dash H, for instance, in here. Um, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> let me do this in question mark. Um, oh, what is it called? Did I miss uh, the name? Let me see. It is config, yes. So SF config and the option SF config dash H, okay dash h let's say dash dash help there's no help for config i thought there was okay sounds good we'll do sf and we'll do upgrade dash a question mark how about that okay so for the uh for the upgrade, and this is a great way, by the way, to upgrade your Sidefinity from one version to the other. Let's say you have 13 and you want to move it to somewhere in 14, you can upgrade it this way as well. And we'll give you help in here. Skip the prompts, for instance, to make it go fast, the package sources, additional package, accept the license. All of these things could be added as argument in here as well. So the command line is a great way uh, for you to create um, new projects create new modules, create new widgets, also upgrade from one version to the other, and also create a config file that the Sidefinity VSIX utility inside of Visual Studio can use automatically as well. So there is a lot of things that you can do 
uh, based on that. So I would recommend for you to download it and uh, start getting used to it. It is easy to install, as you can see, two steps only and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again in future videos about Sidefinity. Thank you.